my Twitch channel or my YouTube channel in case that you haven't seen the previous videos I added a lot of content and well uh, it's a little bit needed uh, to get to the point that, that I'm going to be talking about so let's get here so this is the video that this is the, the the game that we have so far so I'm going to open it over here and uh, as you remember we were having some some waves that were coming some different kinds of uh, uh, units or enemies creeps that we were having here and if I'm not mistaken after I'm able to destroy all of them and the number of waves that I determine at the beginning of the game uh, are created I can go to the next level so that should be what I have right now and let's work on that and we start a new level and now we have the same amount of waves and, and that's it so well that's that's good and dandy and pretty and whatever but the thing is that I was working a little bit on, on how to improve this and one of the things of the original comment that was uh, let's say included in, in the uh, YouTube uh, comments is that what about some sort of pool of enemies or some sort of like random element that uh, uh, would add a lot of flavor to this system so I already tried to create it here so uh, let me see is this one yes so I'm, perhaps I'm going to be going back and forward in between the two because I don't want to to mix it up and you can see that here I've already been working on something else the seeker has changed and that also comes from another question made on the videos so uh, I'm going to make another video just for that but in the, in the meantime let's just go on this so one of the options that quite likely has been mentioned on the uh, constructive forums is to use uh, functions to create uh, crypts to create enemies so I'm going to do that and to do that I'm going to first double click here and add function and now we can create all the functions that we want I am going to add a function here at the end and uh, I'm going to call it well, function on function and here what I'm going to name it exactly how I name it in the other one create creep so that's that's going to, to be the name create creep okay so basically this event is going to be triggered whenever someone calls the function create creep that of course is going to create a creep okay so now uh, one of the things that we have already is that basically these two event, these two actions create a crypt so I'm going to copy them to my function something here quite likely in the other example you're going to see that I've already done a few things differently okay but uh, that's that's something different so uh, if I do this I should be able to um, to create a crypt so like just just to make certain that I'm not lying and that I haven't made a mistake uh, if you remember here on this three events that we have uh, we were using we were always creating at least one creep and then we were using these two sub events to create more if well I haven't created them all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, disable these two so I'm not creating any creep right there and then I am going to call a function that is going to be called of course create creep they have to be named the same uh, create creep otherwise uh, it's not going to be able to know what you're doing here it's going to look for the name so that's why it's in um, so it's going to be there so now I'm going to move it over here and uh, let's try if this works so these are the ones that are added at the beginning and then you're going to have your waves here so it, it works is basically replacing what we already had there now if we check what I have here I am talking about some parameters in and this is the example that I already created and I'm not really creating the creep here at the beginning of the function so why these parameters well simply because I would love to be able to create different different uh, kind of enemies here 
and if you remember we had some uh, well let me look where is the secret oh okay here it looks different we had the default enemy that is the normal one and two bosses and two bosses here so that means that uh, uh, I should be able to to compare something like that so what happens here I can just go here I'm going to create three uh, okay I'm sorry two sub events and I'm going to uh, ask what exactly what I was asking here in my other example that is for the parameter so I'm going to say function compare parameter that is going to be the first one the count starts with zero so zero one two three and I'm going to say one and I'm going to copy the same event or same action and going I'm going to modify it so what if they say two what if they say three so the entire thing here is that uh, I'm going to have three different kinds of, of uh, enemies so I can ask directly for that and I'm going to move this here so I know that I'm creating an enemy in each one of them and now what I'm going to say I'm going to check if we where are we doing that so we're creating here so boss so if you remember here uh, is like the one these are the two events that we had to create two different bosses so if you see I'm just creating a normal a normal enemy and then I'm doing some adjustments so this is what I'm going to do here so I'm going to copy this and now let's copy for the second boss that is going to be these additional actions so if you remember the only difference is between the normal um, the normal enemies and the bosses have to do with the speed that this case is well in both cases are faster and then also with the uh, well I'm sorry the health and then the speed so you see that there is one that is is much healthier that is faster than normal also is faster than the normal uh, enemy and this one is much healthier bad is lower so th those are the kinds that, that I want the, the things that I want to do and, and now what I can do is I'm going to copy uh, I'm going to well modify this and instead of just saying like I'm going to create a creep I'm going to say I'm going to create a creep and I'm going to add a parameter so you see that you have these links here add parameter remove parameter in this case I'm going to say one that's the normal uh, enemy that we have and then for the case of the bosses I'm going to copy them here at the end and I'm going to disable all the events that we have here all the actions in both cases and I'm going to just specify which boss I want so this one is two and this one is three so let's see if that works correctly so one two three and now let's run it so right now it should work exactly how it was working before so the three original enemies that were created before so that they are in the layout and now we begin to see the first kind of a boss a normal wave and then also the other kind of boss so it's working so now uh, it, this is all cool and dandy and awesome but uh, why do I need this or why is it useful to have this let's suppose that uh, I'm, I am going to copy something like this so an entire and I'm going to copy it over here to eliminate it now um, what I can ask here is like every three seconds I'm going to do three seconds I am going to create a creep okay but since I already have a function that determines the kind of enemy that is going to be created I could say what if I make this random so instead of always sending three that is this the, well the third kind of enemy I could say why don't you just choose between one two and three that are the three possible the three possible enemies that we have here so something like that so every three seconds we're going to have a new enemy but I am not going to know which uh, 
which um, enemy is going to be the result of that. So let's see. So we're going to have this here and after three seconds I'm going to have for example in this case this new enemy and if I run it again it was three seconds then it's going to be a fast runner and then it's going to be the new one that I found in this case it's the same but the cool thing is what if I had a hundred kinds of enemies I could just keep adding to this function and then with this I could do it randomly of course choose is not the only one that you can do um, uh, okay it's here so let me see if, if it shows you you see a random value to choose from you can also use random it's just that random also can give you a floating point and you need something that is or one or two or three but what if I just want to create more uh, of the number two I could add and now you have a better chance of getting like number twos the number threes right so if I run it there's a better chance it's not a given so the first runner that I was expecting and then I'm going to have another runner and then every three seconds quite likely I'm going to have runners but then you can do it like that so this is really cool because then you can do something like that and on top of that uh, you can mix it with uh, some tricks with animations since we have already seen how to change the animations what if I had uh, right now I have here boss boss 2, boss, uh, we can add boss 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 I could also make uh, templates that, that look differently every single time so that, that would be really awesome because then you're going to have enemies that are that could be faster or slower and still you can control how they look so I, I think that's something that, that we may check in the uh, future uh, videos but right now I just wanted to show you how to you could use everything on a function I should rewrite this entire thing and start eliminating and now just concentrate on the function that I have here but this is something that I, that I think it's really cool because it gives you more power on how to create your enemies there um, and well that's that's pretty much it for today uh, like I said I'm going to try to answer another question that was made today and I you may have seen that I already have a little bit of um, of an example of a demo uh, answering that question or at least a part of it and, and I'm going to continue adding things to this game as long as you keep asking me things if not well uh, we haven't covered tons of things like uh, how to how to create like a system with with coins or money or, or score so that's something that, I, that we will have to cover before we call this tower defense uh, done after that, well, just let me know if you liked the video and have a great day.